I recently had a System76 Gazelle Professional laptop. It ran Ubuntu. I used it for everything for about a week because it was a loner. You may have seen some of the other videos I made regarding the hardware and the software. In this video, I'll show you around Shotwell, which is an application that comes preloaded on the machine. It is a photo organizing tool. Okay, as you can see here, I have a couple of photos on an SD card, which I've just put into the computer. Now we need to open up Shotwell. To get the photos into Shotwell, we first have to import them. We can either do that by going into the file menu and going to import from folder, or we can actually drag them over. Let's do that. It just seems more fun that way. Okay, highlight and click and drag and drop. Now it asks if I want to import the whole file and keep a copy of the file in the pictures folder on the Gazelle Professional or if I want to keep the actual file where it is. I don't want to leave it on the card, after all, because I won't be able to get to it later. That would be a good option, though, if you keep your files elsewhere, like on an external hard drive or something. And here they are. You may have noticed that one of the files is a JPEG and one is a RAW file. .NEF is Nikon's RAW file extension. I like that you can see some of the photo information right here the file name, the date, and a bit of shooting information. Now, you know how I showed you how to import files? Well, there's actually another option, which I particularly like. Going into the Edit menu and to Preferences, I'm going to check Watch Library Directory for New Files. This way, when I copy new files into the Pictures folder, Shotwell will automatically pick them up. It doesn't have to be your Pictures folder, though. You can make it any folder you want. Shotwell is great for organizing your photos, but it is also great for quick edits. As you see down here, you can do a few things like rotate the photo or enhance the photo automatically. Now, if I double click on the photo, I can do even more. So let's undo the auto enhance I did before and check out some of these other options. You can rotate, crop, straighten, reduce red eye, adjust some levels, and auto enhance. Let's actually make this even bigger. We've still got our controls down here. Let me show you the adjust button. We've got several controls here. You have sliders for exposure, saturation, tint, temperature, and shadows. So I can use any of these to edit my photo, or not. Let's take a look at the menus up here. In the file menu, you've got your import and export options. You can print from here. In the edit menu, you can undo or redo changes remove something from the library, or move it to the trash once and for all. Your preferences are also here. In the View menu, you can decide what you want to see and do a slideshow. In the Photo menu, you can move among your photos or get to your editing tools. You can tag photos in the Tags menu. Then, in the Help menu, you can get help. So Shotwell is a good photo organizing tool, but it's also great for just some quick edits.